What is something you will never give a F about? Social media influencers. There is nothing I would do or buy because an influencer told me to do it. Ever. How do you know though? Advertising doesn't work immediately. It gets a brand or idea into your mind so when you later see it, it seems familiar and you're more likely to choose it over something similar that you've got no familiarity with. Especially the younger bratty ones who are 15 but act like they are in their 20s. It's the older ones for me. Mid 30 year old screaming into a mic or doing fake arse charity for views. Just rubs me the wrong way for some reason. My lip is curling up and I am frowning just typing it out. Celebrity drama. Celebrities period. And I can't stand that the only reason they are famous is, they are a celebrity. No talent. Only entitled. Honestly, if you ever ask someone why the Kardashians are famous, even though I know there's a reason, the only answer you ever get is because they're just famous. Or the royal family. Ding ding ding. Seriously we rebelled cause we said F kings and queens and now we're supposed to be all goo goo ga ga over them. F all of them. My ex begging for the cat's back. She left us three to F some dude halfway around the world. When she came back she had the audacity to ask for the cat's back after her four year hiatus in the country. So satisfying to tell her to go F herself. Oh similar story. Had an abusive GF beg for a dog. She picked a cute little guy. Got him for her. She proceeded to never take care of him and always complain about him just doing things puppies do. She would talk about getting rid of him and how there's something wrong with him. There isn't. He's great. So I took care of him. Trained him. Bonded. He became my dog really. After I dumped her cause I finally was done with the A. She really calls me to ask when I'm bringing over her dog. I told her she doesn't have a dog. I do. And I hung up. This is almost exactly my same story with my ex-wife. She left us 8 months after we got the dog. And the dog is now 10 years old. He saved my life when I was in a bad place years ago. I owe that dog everything. Truly my best friend. Sounds like that dog is loyal unlike some other BS you know. I adopted a dog that had belonged to neighbors. They were a family with kids but they all treated the dog poorly. The guy was especially bad and he used to just roam the street. Eventually they left and they dumped the dog a long way away. We found this out from people who knew people who knew them. The dog managed somehow to find his way back to our place as he used to come play with our dog. By then he was starving and was so matted we had to get a professional groomer to carefully get under all the mats to clip him. It took ages for him to eat properly without vomiting because he'd been so starved. Got him good and loved up and kept him. Vet told me he'd had blows to the ribs and jaw and had suffered breaks to his ribs. Anyway, months go by and I bump into the woman from the family in a shop who tells me I've got her kid's dog. I told her she's welcome to him if she'd like to pay back everything I put into vets and care for him. She turned her back and walked away. He lived to E17+. plus was the most beautiful little black poodle and passed away peacefully in bed as a very old man. Rest in peace precious Benji. I told her he's welcome to him if she'd like to pay back everything I put into vets and care for him. She turned her back and walked away. Lamau owe to be a fly on the wall and see that in real time. Entitled celebrities and social media influencers. My first thought was the Kardashians. Do you mean that family of train wreck freaks who never should have been famous for any reason? The stupid sh this country chooses to pay attention to, I swear. The stupid sh this country chooses to worship. They worship entertainment and politicians. The royal family. Reality TV and its stars. You telling me you don't follow every action of every housewife, bachelor, bachelorette, and 90 day fiancé? I don't know who you even are anymore. 90 DF is actually kinda funny. I am amazed the producers of the show are continually able to find the dumbest people in the country and convince them to go on TV and broadcast how dumb they are. Cooking shows are effing fantastic when done well. The last 10 seasons of Top Chef were amazing. MasterChef Canada is amazing, especially season 5. And the Great British Baking Show is fantastic. There's no drama. Just lots of great stories and wonderful food. Seeing their creative ways of accomplishing difficult challenges and rising to the occasion is rewarding to watch. The more drama there is the more useless they become. I also want to know very little about the backstory that makes them a unique snowflake unless their personality and achievements have made them interesting. Not their attributes. Hollywood award shows. Celebrities patting each other on the back. Sometimes they slap each other's face. Will power. Their ratings are down. I think PPL are tired of rich celebrities getting awarded when all they have done is acted not found a cure for diseases or eradicated world hunger. The Kardashians. Edit. Holy cow. Thanks for the gold. I really appreciate it. They've not had the same prominence since the end of their occupation of Bajor but I think it behooves us all to keep an eye on them.
Gould Jenner with the sweatshops truly ruin the southern lands provinces. Attention Bajoran workers. Facebook. My mental health genuinely improved so much when I deleted my Facebook and stopped comparing my life to everyone else's. Not just everyone else's life, everyone else's fake life. Don't forget political affiliations. That is central to Facebook now. All social media can take a hike, excluding Reddit. That one can stay. I've gone this long without ever using Twitter. I see no reason to start now. The British Royal Family. As an American I am baffled at some of my fellow countrymen's obsession with the royal family. We fought entire war so that I don't have to give a s about the British royal family. Some people are obsessed with the Kardashians. I think it's a similar celebrity worship thing to that. People looking for a role model where they probably shouldn't be. Spoiled rich people. I wish. But but the richest, most spoiled have way too much power for me to ignore. Yeah, I was going to say. Spoiled rich people basically run the world. You can try to not care about them. But you'd better believe they care about you. They're looking down on you saying hey, I want what they've got. Food went up. Rent went up. Healthcare went up. Those aren't forces of nature. Those aren't random. Someone decided to do that. And hopes you're not going to look up and care enough to do something about it. When we start eating them instead of the overpriced foodstuffs. When I was going through an awful period in my life I used to binge the real housewives. It made me laugh that they made up problems to be upset about when I was going through actual real life sh. Like when they go on retreats. What are you healing or taking a break from? <laughs> NFT. Can't be funged. Believe me. I've tried. Is that still a thing? Are twice impeached. One term former president's NFTs are up 62% after recent Georgia excitement. <laughs> Scripted pranks lol. Just pranks in general. Being a dick but thinking it's okay because it's just a prank bro. The worst ones are the ones that aren't even pranks. It's just straight up being a dick to people. I remember seeing one where this pretty white boy was going around asking people if he could F them in the eye. Because that's hilarious. I guess. One of the people responded by punching pretty white boy in the face. Knocking him out and I'm pretty sure knocking his teeth out. Two, you could see visible blood. One of PWB's teeth was missing. And his jaw was visibly unhinged. PWB's response? It was just a joke. I got punched over a joke. F you. You got punched because you were being an A$1. Play stupid games. Win stupid prizes. Enjoy your dental work. So all harassment. Claim self-defense. But what if it's a scripted prank with that dumbass female AI voice narrating what you can already see for yourself? Does that make it any better? Only if oh no. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Is drowning out all other noise in the video too. Luxury items like crazy expensive cars, bags, and watches. In defense of expensive cars, at least most of the time you get something out of it, such as speed. But bags, watches, clothes? Yeah don't get it all. Saw a purse going for thousands of euros. That's just too much. Thing is, you can't even take advantage of those cars in most situations. You get a better, smoother, more comfortable ride with a car that's 14th the price and can get up to the same speed in the same time if you're talking about a practical situation on the road. Having a Bugatti, for most people that own one, serves the same role as having a Louis Vuitton bag. They're after the brand name, not an upgrade in functionality. As a car enthusiast I agree that 99% of the time having anything crazy like a Bugatti is just a show of wealth. But tracks exist so if anyone is taking their obscene show of wealth on wheels out for a track day my sentiment instantly flips to a positive. Gender reveals. Cutting a cake with the center revealing color is one thing. Polluting an entire village's river permanently pisses me off and I wish those people wouldn't breed their stupidity into the gene pool. I brought cupcakes with blue filling to work. My coworkers would wander past my cube. Take a guess. Bite a cupcake. Say oh. It's a boy. Nice. And move on. It was nice and low-key. I like that because people want cake and will take an interest in your baby's gender to get some. They could be cool. But every time it's just one of the same old genders that we've all seen a thousand times before. What two, or more, consenting adults do in the privacy of their home? What about just one consenting adult by himself, asking for a friend? Incredibly important, no one consenting adult should be left unsupervised alone at home. This is a health and safety regulations risk. We ought to put up telescreens to monitor you. Ha, huh, you fool, you've played right into my trap. That was my kink all along. Designer clothes. 
Seems like such a waste of money just to have status. Yes, and most of the clothes are fuggly. I mean, this looks like a nice, plain white t-shirt I struggle to see how it's worth $2. 285 though. This is a bit misrepresentative of what designer clothing is. I think this is a really extreme example and not what should be seen as the definition of designer clothing 90% of the time. I really enjoy textiles and fashion. My mother is a seamstress so it just is what it is. I find middle class designer brands such as Coach, Michael Kors, and Kate Spade to be really affordable considering the huge increase in quality. And I have crafted a wardrobe that is smaller, but higher quality and flatters me better. It has saved space and the clothing I have keeps the fit and quality long term, even after washings doesn't have to be something other people care about. I just think designer brand doesn't have to equal shitty clothing that rich people wear for clout and costs as much as my mortgage. Runway clothing is not designed for people with actual lives who leave their house lol. That's my biggest complaint with high fashion. Like if it is fugly but creative. That's one thing. But a plain shirt? Doesn't even necessarily mean the fabric or production was ethically sourced. It's just a plain shirt with a high price tag that might still be done with poorly funded third world country labor. How Geico can save me 15% or more on car insurance. Oddly enough, when I switched to Geico, I saved exactly 15% over my previous insurer. It was uncanny. Same though but now they keep raising it. He, the lizard controls everything. One suality woe gives a flying F? General Mattis had the best answer on this frankly. Senator, I have never cared much about two consenting adults and who they go to bed with or would dislike for other furniture they prefer to F on. Just please wipe down the kitchen counter when you're done. Golf. A lot of my co-workers love it and I couldn't care less. George Carlin watching golf on TV is like watching flies F. I'm pretty sure most of their viewership is people who want to take a nap. That's exactly what my dad says. He loves playing golf and I tried watching it with him. Couldn't stand it. So I asked him what he liked about watching this. In his words, oh I don't. It's just very peaceful. Announcers never yell. People clap very politely. There's birds and wind blowing. The best part is, if I give a darn who's winning, I can wake up at any moment and barely anything changed. I can just stay awake long enough for a few swings, catch up on the scores and fall back asleep. Honestly, I get it. It's virtually identical to putting rain sounds or white noise in the background to fall asleep too. Influencers. NFTs. I never understood the hype when they were in and still don't understand now. Money laundering and grifting. That's really all there is to it. I now understand NFTs better than I ever did before from that one sentence. Steven Seagal. Fatly going around corners is all I will remember him for. What about running like you have a load of SH in your pants? Running like you're constantly trying to slow yourself down. Celebrities' political opinions. One time Elvis was asked a political question at a press conference and he responded with ma'am, I'm an entertainer, my opinion doesn't matter. W. Elvis. Others' opinions of me. How to get this superpower. It just happens as you get older. It's taking too long though. Crypto. Seems like one massive scam to me. The current crypto market is a giant scam. Someone sets up a new currency, promotes it, hopes a bunch of people buy into it, then at some point they bail with everyone's money. It's just like a pyramid scheme where the guys at the top rip off money from the guys at the bottom. I'm sure there were several cryptocurrencies and NFTs that people could have bought into and made a fortune off of, but it's all a gift now. Honestly I used to wonder why crypto brothers were so evangelical about it until I realized every Ponzi scheme needs new members. I don't know. The truest way to not give a f about something is to not know it's a thing to give a f about. The real lessons were the things we didn't give a f about on the way. Extended car warranty. So, I got one, and got to say, worth it, though I bought mine from the dealership. Replaced a whole transmission. Cost me diagnostics. My brother bought a used Xrental SUV with third-party warranty. The warranty covered his transmission replacement. He probably came out 3k ahead including the cost of the warranty. May not work out that way for everyone, but his did. Breastfeeding in public. Feed your babies when they're hungry. IDGAF. This is definitely a weird one to care about. Award show fashion. 
Twitterx, TikTok, college football. Sports. I don't care who's on what team, who won or who's playing. I enjoy playing myself with friends but other than that I couldn't care less. Other people's kids. I don't want to hear what they said, what they wore, what they made, what they did, or what they learned at school. I, just, don't, care. With that said, I do still care about children's well-being generally speaking. Children should be treated fairly, be well taken care of, and never add. But as a child-free individual, I just have absolutely zero desire to hear about what someone's kid did. I have a kid and second this. I don't care what your kid did. I care what mine did. But I know you don't. Simple logic. Keep your kids to yourself. Celebrities. I simply couldn't give two SHS about the lives of celebrities. All I care about is what they produce. So if an actor is good at acting, I will watch the movie or show and enjoy it. It goes no further than that. Ever. Exactly. I don't care. That these two celebrities that never actually wanted to be together, just broke up. Like, that's your own business. And I simply couldn't care less. Twitter. Anything TikTok. Work. For the way most workplaces treat people, and how little you get from any work arrangement. I just don't believe in giving my all. Most people don't realize how many years they are taking off their lives by taking on the levels of stress in most workplaces. For what? A salary that barely keeps you afloat so that you can keep experiencing work for years. The employers get the better deal because they pay for labor and don't have to share any of the wealth created by those laborers. In a 24-hour day we should be sleeping 8 hours. That leaves 16 hours for everything else. If you factor in commuting, work takes up over half our conscious daily life, which is quite depressing. The even more depressing part is that by the time you're home from work, good luck having the energy to do anything beyond becoming one with the couch. The only good thing is that four-day work week discussion is becoming increasingly mainstream and might just have a fighting chance. I think there's a good chance it'll take hold in Europe and then hopefully the rise of pro-worker unions in the US will grab hold and never ever let go. Gossip drama between internet celebrities. Reality TV. Having children. School reunions. I don't see the point of attending to these gatherings. We already graduated. Let's just live our lives separately. I didn't like you rogues in the first four years. I don't like you anymore 40 years later. Materialistic luxury objects and people's opinion. Kardashians. The Met Gala. Rich people having problems. FM. The Kardashians. Madonna. Beyonce. Harry and Meghan. My mother-in-law. Sports. I can't believe I had to scroll this far down to see this anger. Friends TV show. ETA. Whoa. I thought I'd be downvoted. Looks like I'm not alone. Cheers. Who celebs are dating? Celebrity culture and what's in style. Fancy cars. NFTs not interested never will be. Taylor Swift. These BS. Cars. Start. Get me there in relative comfort. And safely. And that's it. Having the newest iPhone every year. People forcing their religious and political views. Yeah, it's mad how seriously some countries take religion. Where I grew up church was basically just a community hub for grannies. Not a big part of people's lives. People's petty drama TBH. Anything that I can't control. Social media. Reddit is all I have. And darn you I will break from you one day Reddit.